Hello guys and welcome back for part <clears throat> excuse me 17 of this series on creating games using Construct 2. Uh, in part 17 we're just going to talk about some extra behaviors that we haven't talked about. Uh, so flash, fade, and destroy outside layout. Some pretty simple behaviors uh, but can be useful depending on the context of your game. So let me jump over back to Construct 2. The first one we're going to take a look at is the flash behavior. So I'm going to take my turret uh, I'm going to select my turret here in the bottom left and I'm going to add behavior and in addition to the turret behavior I'm going to add the flash and this behavior is really straightforward it's just going to kind of have your um, whatever that object is blink basically so it's going to flash in and out and we need to on the start of the layout tell it to start flashing so on start of layout we'll go to turret and then we'll um, choose flash under the flash uh, section and then we can choose how long it's on how long it's off and then duration so I'm gonna make this five seconds and then go ahead and run this and we should see that it will let me reload this so our turret down here in the bottom left is flashing pretty fast for five seconds or so and then it should stop and my player dies let me run that again so after about five seconds we should see that it'll stop flashing. Yeah, so now it's back to normal and just uh, shooting like normal. Uh, so we can change, that was blinking pretty fast, we can change the time that it's on, the time that it's off. So if we do 0 0.5, 0 0.5, this will turn it on and turn it off every half a second. So not near as fast as it was a second ago. So it should see a lot slower flash there. And then still after five seconds it should be done. So yeah, now it's back to normal. Right, so you could do this uh, for enemies, for any kind of objects you have. It just kind of depends on how it fits your game. Um, now, I'm going to take back, I'm going to delete that action that I just created, and then take away that flash behavior. And then I'm going to add the fade behavior. So this one's actually going to be pretty cool. Uh, it can be fairly simple. You can, you just tell it to fade out after however many seconds so I'll do three and then there's a choice whether or not to destroy it so you can destroy that object after it fades out or you can not destroy it at all so if I were to destroy it when it fades out it will fade let me reload that again sorry about that it will fade for three seconds and then disappear so now it's gone completely and it destroyed itself because we told it to in that property let's run it one more time you can see in the bottom left it gets lighter, lighter, lighter and disappears. So let's say that we want to do something when it disappears. So my idea was to have it move uh, so it will disappear every three seconds and have it randomly appear on the uh, level somewhere um, every time it disappears. So let's, let's try that out. There's an event for, I believe it's on flash end or on uh, fade end, something like that. Let me see. So turret and on fade out finish so once it's done fading out it's actually destroying it and now the action I'm gonna go into system and create object I'm gonna create a turret on layer 0 at a random X coordinate and I want this random to be from 0 to layout width and then random for Y is gonna be layout height so this is basically just going to give it a random x and y coordinate and put it there. So let me run it again. And it's going to fade, fade, fade and disappear. And now it should. Something should have appeared. Let me double check what I did. So I want to create, um, not on layer 0, I want to create this on the uh, layer game. So I want to create this on my game layer. See if that works. So it's fading, disappears, and now he's jumping to another random location. So this adds some more complexity to our game. Makes it a little bit harder because after three seconds we don't know where the bullets are coming from until he shoots them. And then he's fading out so it, it kind of adds a little bit of excitement to the game. You never know where it's going to be. You got to keep jumping around trying to catch these golds as they fall and surviving as long as possible. Cool. Um, so the last, um, the last behavior we're going to talk about 
is the destroy outside layout behavior and this is actually very useful especially when you have a shooting game so with, with this sh with this turret shooting I think it's every second uh, or actually no right now it's every quarter of a second so four times a second it's shooting these bullets and that means that depending or the longer we last the more bullets it has shot and the more bullets are out there in the game and even though they disappear off of our layout off of the screen that we see as a player those bullets are still in the game so if if we set our timer for a long time and set the timer to infinity we would have infinite bullets running around all of them taking up memory right but we don't care about bullets after they disappear from our screen we want them to basically destroy themselves outside of layout so those are pretty straightforward uh, what or that behavior is so let me select bullet and check behaviors and let's add the destroy outside layout and actually before I do that let's take a look just so you get an idea of what I'm talking about let's debug this layout let's see if we can do this on the fly so as it's shooting bullets I want to go over here and I want to select bullet and it's counting it's not what I wanted to do let me rerun this and if you see over here in the bottom left it's counting how many bullets are on the board so it's going up 12 13 let me play again and see if I can survive a little bit so after our time and I died so I don't know how many we got up to but probably um, easily up to 50 or so bullets in that time frame and if that time frame was longer it could easily be more so we want to now destroy those when they get outside so let's go into the bullet and add behavior and add destroy outside layout and now if I debug this layout again I can see that there are I need to move around those bullets are increasing but then decreasing as well so we're sticking at right around 10 11 12 depending on the scenario and the time so right around 10 instead of getting all the way up to 50 so in terms of making games for mobile platforms you really want to have it take up the least amount of memory possible and one thing that I didn't add before in our um, collision with our player and the bullet. So on collision with bullet, we want to decrease our health and set the health bar, but we also want to go into bullet and destroy that bullet. So that way it's not just shooting right through us, it's actually destroying when it hits us. So let's take a look at that. So I'm just going to let it shoot me and these bullets shouldn't go through, so now they disappear. Cool. That's much more realistic than having bullets just go straight through us when they get when they hit us. Alright, so that's it for these extra behaviors. Stay tuned for more videos.